Hello, my name is Jason Okuri and welcome to your very, very detailed walkthrough tour of number 30 Padbury Street here in Downer. Now we're here in Padbury Street, which I feel like is a quite prestige street here in Downer. We're just a few, uh, a short walk away from Dixon and of course your Downer shops. Um, and then this is a really nice, quiet tree line spot here as well. But now let's start off the tour here at the front at number 30. We've got a really, really long driveway, which takes us through to the covered uh, carport, which we'll check out more of shortly. So that's double gates that just opened up. Heaps of space here on the driveway for more vehicles. And then this driveway then wraps around, easily fitting another two, three, four vehicles. And um, this is all just mulch. And easy for you to do whatever you like with. That's in neutral. We've got a bit more established hedging. And then we wrap around here, another spot for a vehicle over here. And this is a really cool zone, um, which can be accessed through to the studio, which we'll check out more of shortly. But here's the front, all been painted, all been well looked after, retiled, repainted, freshened up, and ready for you to move straight into. Just two steps up. All right, let's check it out. Stepping inside, and just to orientate ourselves a little bit, uh, obviously you can see the amount of sunlight coming on through this window. This is our direct north facing, and it's a really large window to let in that beautiful natural light. Um, speaking of windows, you've got really nice high window treatments across all of the other uh, bedrooms, and these are brand new. And then the flooring, you've got your timber look flooring, which covers right throughout the property, and of course, brand new carpets in the bedroom, which we'll check out more of shortly. But a really large open uh, plan living area up in the corner, you've got reverse cycle heating and cooling. That's electric, your light fittings, and then of course it's all been freshly painted right throughout the property. And this living area uh, effortlessly flows through to the dining and mills area, easily fit a four seater and larger if need be. And this comes on through to your really large kitchen. So you've got stone bench tops, one and a half or sink, window out to the yard, which we'll get more of shortly. Heaps and heaps of cupboard space, drawer space. You've got your provision here for the dishwasher, more cupboard space, more bench space here. Electric cooktop electric oven, and your ducted, externally ducted range hood there on top. You've got your provision here for the fridge, really large fridge space, and more cupboard, of course, on top. Coming on through, this is the butler's pantry to the right-hand side, more bench space, provision for the microwave, and more storage options. And then to the left-hand side, you've got more pantry space. And that just there on the wall is uh, your fuse box. Okay, so, Original home built uh, many, many, many years ago. Uh, the owners have owned this for at least 17 years now, and this is exactly how they've had it. Obviously added improvements in terms of uh, you know, carpets and, and, and fitting the rooms out, but um, the original plan was just the windows here, or possibly a sliding door here, and this was the original home. What the original owner has done is added two extra rooms, another 20 square meters of living space and a separation between the two so you can use them however you like. So coming on through uh, to room number one on the left hand side, sliding cavity door, We've got brand new carpets underneath and of course a window that looks externally out there as well. And this is a good space for you know, a fourth bedroom, a living space, whatever you like. And then we'll call this one room number two. Again, brand new carpets underfoot. Ducted gas heating uh, outlet there. Um, this is built in cabinetry, uh, robe space if you like, whatever you want to use it as. More uh, window space out there looking outside, nice and private. And this is quite a large zone here. Again, this one's now got a swinging door to open and close. So two really good sized rooms to use however you like, not included as the, uh, the approved living space, but it is another 20 square meters that you can use however you like. So um, you'll be paying for three bedrooms, uh, you're paying for the price of three bedrooms, but getting an additional two, which is really cool. Okay, Malamine shelving here for linen closets to fit your needs. And then coming on through, we'll call this one bedroom number three. Carpet underfoot. You've got your window out towards the north. And then again, more built-in robes here. Hanging and shelf space. There we go. Uh, again, that's our direct north facing. New, new window treatments and freshly painted. Right next door. We'll call this one bedroom number one, if you like. Brand new carpets on the foot, new paint, new window treatments. Again, window out towards the north. Really large space here for uh, your clothing and whatever you like. More pantry, uh, more um, robe space. And this has got a sorry, window to the north as well as out to the east, so morning sun there. Really large zone, again, easily fit queen size bed, bedside tables. And then coming up through, we'll call this one bedroom number three. Oh, number two, I think it is. <laughs> sure, I'm gonna keep count. Uh, you've got carpet again, brand new carpet underfoot. A uh, really nice, like little uh, timber feature wall here. 
and like I said, brand new paints. And this also has a sliding door out towards the uh, the deck, which we'll check more of shortly. But again, that's out east. You can see the amount of sunlight just coming through, that natural light. A good idea if you want to use the other rooms, um, the unapproved rooms, as a bedroom, you could then use this as a living space, which is then a nice extension from here out to the deck to greet your guests. But uh, coming on through, we'll go through and meet in the, uh, the main bathroom. This is what we call a two-way bathroom. So on our right-hand side, we've got a, uh, a hanging um, a vanity. Left-hand side over here is a really large shower. This is three doors. Open, close that off. It's a really large spot there. You've got your spot here for laundry, if you like, your tub, and your connection there for the plumbing. And then just around behind this door is your toilet. Okay, coming on through. So this is a an originally a pergola area that's just been fully covered and uh, can be opened and closed off to two separate zones. So I'll show you that side in a second. But this is really cool here because you've got your bench top, you've got your sink, heaps and heaps of space here uh, for more storage options. A bit of natural light out towards, that would be our south, and of course our east here as well, letting in more and more light. Uh, but again, that flooring continues, it feels nice in here. Use it however you like, a studio, a hair salon, a nail salon, whatever you like. Um, it's just a really nice extension, again, from that living area. Instead of doing things there, you can do it over here. Um, what you could also use is, uh, this does step out onto the deck. So if you're having a nice barbecue here, um, you know, you've got your barbecue outside, you can use this as a second kitchen, um, which then can be open and closed off to the deck. And this flows on through. And this, uh, this is a, a, a really nice area because it's all been, you know, fitted out. And then we come on through here. And this is where a bit more of the original pergola is. So um, you've got your timber decks underneath. You've got your original pergola up on top. And again, you know, your window out towards the west. Uh, this is again a really large zone. So you've got an electric hot water system just tucked up over here. Your window out from the kitchen, which we'll look, which we checked out uh, just before. You've got your tub here if you want to uh, have an outdoor sink. Um, and there's obviously more connections there if you want to put a laundry or whatnot, if need be. But again, our window out here to the yard, so it doesn't feel closed off, it does really feel open. And just again, another seating area, another entertaining spot. Now this is uh, this door over here is from that living space, just to orientate ourselves a little bit. So that's the living area, our kitchen on our right hand side. So you can open that up or close it off. And to the rear of the property, you've got your converted garage. So this is being converted into a studio, all being fitted, fitted out with uh, brand new carpets underfoot. You've got windows, light fittings, and uh, even up on the, uh, the left, the right, your right hand side at the moment, is a reverse cycle unit there for heating and cooling. So this is a really good spot here for um, whatever, I guess, whatever you like. So the living space, a, a study desk, however you, you want to use it. But what I like about this is there's two access points, one from the pergola, which we came through, and of course, one from this side. So when we, uh, just to orientate ourselves, when we started the video and I showed you the walkway, that walkway actually leads to this door. So if someone wants to use this without going through the main home, they are more than welcome to and easily accessible so whether it's an old elderly parent whether it's a young teenager or however you're going to use it whether you want to rent it out uh, it's a really cool zone away from the living space uh, you got your built-in uh, cabinets just there for um, whatever you like and this is a little rod here just to pull up some curtains to cover away from this second zone which could be really uh, used I guess as a, as a bedroom so uh, this is our window out towards the east letting in heaps and heaps of lights Easily fit a bed here, bedside tables. We've got you some robes there as well with hanging uh, with, uh, with shelf space. And this is a sliding cavity door which comes on through to a, uh, an ensuite. Left hand side, you've got your toilet, your vanity, and then over to the right, you'll see your shower. And now let's check out the, uh, the backyard now. So this is another entry door out towards the yard. Got timber deck which wraps right around here. So now again, another really good zone. Um, and I like the separation. So because it wraps around, you can easily have guests on that side and more guests over here. Just a two, just a two step down here, uh, out towards the grass area. Really nice grass area here as well. Heaps of space to kick a soccer ball, let a dog run around, whatever you like. More space uh, behind the studio for whatever you like. This is all mulch here. So nice and neutral, ready to be used however you like. Get your clothes line, get your uh, more storage options just over here. Open this one up just to show you the space. Let me get some more muscles, uh, but heaps of space there for a mower, 
and whatever you, whatever else you like. Pavers underfoot here. Uh, of course, our carport, which I showed you out from the front. So that's our side, our double gates, we can drive on straight through. And I like that it's got a carport, but also space out here uh, for a trailer or ute if need be. So this is the really large timber deck I was talking about, fully covered across here now. You've got lighting, you've got power, and a really nice extension, again, off the living area um, to have guests out here, which you're gonna enjoy year round. Of course, that is our north again, so you're gonna be having heaps and heaps of light and a uh, beautiful sun uh, right year round. This is all been stained, all well looked after. Um, and again, you know, an extension wraps around from, from there, off through this little studio zone and off from what we call bedroom number two there as well. There is the full tour. We've literally shown you everything of number 30 Padbury Street here in Downer. There's lots to show you. There's lots to come and check out yourself. I hope this video has helped a little bit, but I look forward to coming uh, to seeing you at the open home. At the moment, it is currently vacant, it's staged and styled, and we can also offer you early access if need be. But I look forward to seeing you at the open home and answering any of your questions. I'll talk to you soon.